Good morning. Welcome to your daily dose of God time, where we take the best devotionals out there and just share them with you, helping you to get your day off right. 1% of your day is what we call God time as a beginning point, not the goal, but a gateway. 15 minutes of your day. Today, we're in Rick Warren's Daily Hope, and we're talking about extra grace required people. Uh, We all have people with extra grace required in our lives. They annoy us, they anger us, they frustrate us, they test us, but they also help us grow. God calls us to demonstrate mercy to all people, even those who cause us the most trouble. Well, the last few mornings, the last five, I've given you five steps for dealing with EGRs in your life. Look at their behavior. There's some things in their past. Two, refuse to be offended. Three, cut them some slack. Four, refuse to gossip about them. Five, refuse to play their game. And then here's a sixth and final step. You ready? Some of you are glad this is over. You're tired of me talking about people with extra grace required, and some of you might be tired because you are one, right? Here's the sixth one. Always take the high ground. Do what's right, no matter what the EGRs in your life do. If they insult you, Treat them with kindness. If they wear on your nerves or they're too slow for your pace, treat them with patience. You cannot control what other people think about you. You cannot control what other people say about you. You can't control about what other people do to you. But you have 100% control over how you respond. The high ground gives you clear perspective. When you take the high ground, you can see past that person's behavior to their pain. When you take the high ground, you rise above the irritation and the conflict and choose to live in peace. You might be completely within your rights to retaliate, but the Bible says, James 2.13, mercy triumphs over judgment. You might have the perfect comeback, but the Bible says, do not repay insult with insult, 1 Peter 3.9. The classic chapter on taking the high ground is Romans 12. Verse 14 says this, Ask God to bless those who persecute you. Yes, ask him to bless, not to curse. This verse is the definition of mercy. Now now maybe you're saying, okay, pastor, I don't have anybody persecuting me. Well, then let's cross out the word persecute and let's write in the word irritate. Ask God to bless the people who irritate you. Instead of asking God to judge them, ask him to bless them. That's what real love looks like. Real love doesn't just love someone who's lovable. That's easy. Real love loves the unlovable. Real love is patient with the irritable people in your life. See, God empowers us to love, even those we find hard to love. And let me just say, until you can love those that you find hard to love, you haven't loved to learn to love at all like Jesus. So I want you to think of an example in your life or in, in the life of someone you know where you or the person you know took the high ground in a conflict with an extra grace required person. How did that work out? I guarantee you, it will always turn out better than doing one of the other things. And so how have you been inspired by someone else's love for the unlovable? I have several friends of mine. They are patient, man, they are kind, and that is their nature. And I look at them and I think I am a horrible person because all I'm thinking is how can I get out of this conversation? Or how can I get away from this person? And I get around them and I'm going, okay, I want to be more like that. And so I start mimicking the things they do. So what can you do to take the high ground with an EGR in your life, with an extra grace required person in your life? And maybe you're sitting here thinking, I don't have one. Well, then you probably are the one. What can you do to be less of an EGR for somebody else? Try, exa- try these things on people, not just that are, that are um, persecuting you, but people who just irritate you. And see how God shows up in your life. And don't be surprised when you do if they ask you the reason for the hope that you have. And be ready to talk about Jesus with gentleness and with respect. Hope you have an incredible day. Love God. Love people, even those EGRs. And I'm going to pray for you before you go be salt and light. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for my friends that they would uh, live their lives today loving, 
that, Father, they would love you and they would love people, even the hard-to-love people. And would you be glorified in them? In Jesus' name, amen. Have an incredible day.